ProQuest is our provider for psych articles, and it's made uh, available a libguide on psych articles uh, that's available freely and accessible online. And it covers some of the basics about what psych articles is, the subject coverage, as well as the publication coverage, which journals are available in psych articles and has a list to the other additional resources and assistance. It also provides basic information on the ProQuest platform, uh, some search tips, both basic search, advanced search, command line search, and publication search. In addition, it also has uh, information on the searchable fields uh, that can be used uh, to search and to focus your search, and also explains how to understand and take advantage of the results in ProQuest and the document view. ProQuest actually isn't the only database uh, provider that actually gives access to psych articles. Psych articles are also available in EBSCOhost database, uh, but ProQuest uh, does uh, provide access and that's the one that we actually have uh, available. And here are some basic tips on uh, searching, uh, an explanation of Boolean operators and or not, as well as the system defaults in ProQuest's database platform, an explanation of how it deals with operators and the truncation wildcard and hyphen characters, uh, as well as proximity operators. So these can be really powerful and used to build custom search expressions uh, and can be really helpful when you know exactly what you're looking for and how you want to uh, construct your search expression. Some of this functionality can be um, approximated using uh, searching and then filtering, uh, but using uh, and constructing a really good search expression uh, can be actually a great way to narrow down your search results when there are too many, or to focus it so that you don't have to do the work later. So those are the platform search tips in general. There's also basic search information available about in ProQuest, how you do basic searching. Uh, this isn't specific to um, psych articles, but to ProQuest platform. There's also advanced search information on how to use the advanced search uh, interface within ProQuest. So information such as <clears throat> how to use the different fields, uh, in the advanced search option, as well as pointing out that source type and document type and language are available. And as mentioned before in a previous video, there are actually more uh, options available uh, when using uh, psych articles, which actually provides more uh, uh, filtering functionality and uh, different categories available. And also it mentions briefly command line searching. But there's also a section on command line searching itself. Uh, it's very brief, but it tells you, it shows you a little bit about the interface and that's available. And this is where you actually, rather than using the interface entirely, you can actually, um, just what's provided, you can actually type out uh, the actual search expression, including uh, the filters where you want to search in particular areas. In another video, I talk about the bento box analogy. Uh, where each record, each document item in the database actually has different sections and you can tell the database to search within just, for example, the title, just in the abstract, etc. And you can specify in that using the two letter field, um, a search field uh, codes. And you can do this through the command line searching. You'll also notice that when you do searching in advanced search, uh, it'll actually add those and construct those and show you what the actual search expression is. There's also publication search available. So you can actually search by journal title. Um, there are journals that have particular focus and topic uh, so that if you're interested in say workplace injury or trauma, uh, a journal that talks about those issues and aspects in, in a workplace setting, there might be a particular journal that just focuses on that. So you can actually go to that uh, journal's 
entry page in the publication search, you can see uh, and browse all the issues uh, and you can actually search within them. You can actually uh, use that as a starting point to then generate a search expression to focus just within searching in that, in that publication alone. Uh, so there are those options available. Uh, here we can see some of the uh, explanation and of the interface uh, that's available. Uh, so for if you're interested in browsing uh, by journal, then you can reference this page in the LibGuide. And going to searchable fields. So the searchable fields uh, you see on the right hand side here, this table, you can see that if you want to search in abstract, you it's the code label is AB. And what you would do is you would say AB and then in parentheses put the search uh, terms or expression that you're looking for and you want to search with. Uh, so you can say child welfare worker and search just in the abstract, uh, which is the summary of the article. And so you have the field name, the two letter label code, and then the search example and an explanation of what that field name is as well as uh, what its uh, scope is. So here you can see there's field names for age group, for example, and you can see that there are specific names for the types of age groups. Uh, so rather than typing out that you want to find, you know, information on like teens and specifying the ages, you can actually look here and then choose school age or more importantly, adolescence uh, for teens so that you can specify that and, or you can do adulthood. So if you have a targeted age group, you, the, this is the field for you to put in and search uh, if you just want teens, then you would say adolescence, and then you would have that in the AE parentheses. So typically we've been doing searching in all the fields or any field, and then we've done a search and then we've been uh, search and then filter and then explore. But if you know that uh, the word that you're looking for, or the search term, it, you want it in a particular area, or if you're getting too many results, you can definitely focus it and construct a search expression using just the particular search field. Uh, so all of them are listed here and you can use them. They're also available in the advanced uh, search interface pull down, so you can do that. But this is a place you can go to see what those stand for and what the coverage is and also like what the format is. For example, the last revision date, you can see it's in the four letter year, two letter month, two letter date uh, format right here. Uh, so you can do that, etc. You can also see, I'm going to go back up to the top, that there's information on the thesaurus. Uh, as well as lookups and or the browsable indexes. So sometimes we don't know the search terms that we ideally want to use. We may not be aware, like we have the concept, but we don't know the exact term to use. So the thesaurus uh, within ProQuest and Psych articles specifically, uh, as well as the lookups uh, of the browsable indexes are available through the advanced search and specifically through the command line. Uh, so you can look those up um, and then you can use those so it can get rid of an, any ambiguity. You can find out the exact term to use. Uh, so it can be really helpful for targeting your search uh, because sometimes uh, we have the concept but we don't know the right term or a specific term to use and that's one way you can use to discover that. ProQuest LibGuide for Psych Articles also talks about in general how to understand and some of the features of ProQuest search results page. Uh, so here you see some screenshots as well as explanations on some of the features uh, on how to modify the search, for example, uh, which we talked about. If you want to modify your search rather than using the back button to go back to the advanced search interface um, to, to change things, you should ideally click on modify search uh, because of the way ProQuest database interface uh, reacts within a browser page. Uh, you want to choose that way to make sure there aren't any technical uh, glitches or issues, etc. You can see that there's also um, information on how to select items, the citation tool, the how to email selected items to yourself, uh, sorting uh, the results. Uh, normally, uh, the results may be sorted by most recent at the top, but maybe it's better to do relevance. If you typed a search expression, uh, then you want to find out the results that the database at least things are most relevant to the search terms that you put in. So you might want to change sorted by to relevance uh, instead of having to go down page by page. I mean, most recent can be handy, but when you're starting research, uh, you're still kind of learning and you want to find what's most 
uh, specific so you can start with what the database thinks so you would choose sort by relevance you can also you uh, it explains a little bit about the applied filters and then navigation uh, the different number of pages as well as the items per page in the search result um, and then also pointing out that additional related items might show up uh, the ProQuest and psych articles uh, might determine based on your search results um, uh, and the search expressions you used that certain items might also be of interest to you, whether they be books or videos or other resources. So that's just pointing that out. I'm going to click this icon to go back to the top and then document view. So we see here that there's some examples here in document view uh, where it talks about uh, how to read the, the, Pro, the ProQuest Psych articles item entry. And we've gone over this in another video, but here it also points out, you know, there's the full text, full text PDF tabs, the abstract details and the references. So the references are, uh, again, as I pointed out before, a really great way to see uh, what sources that particular uh, article uh, and author have cited uh, in their article. So that could be a quick way to find and discover other uh, related items, because remember we were doing the basic uh, search pattern of search, filter, and explore. So the references tab uh, within the article can be a really great, fast, easy way to explore and find other or related articles, specifically articles that were cited in the article that you're looking at. And then also you can see that there are mentions of the different tools available in the abstract. So you can see, I mean, not the abstract, the document. So you can see that there are, I'm going to start again. So there are tools uh, available mentioning about the downloading PDF, about citing uh, and email options available. And then also a little bit about searching uh, using the indexed terms, uh, the terms, uh, the subject terms that are available. Again, that was part of exploring how you can use the uh, results to further explore and find other related items uh, from the actual article uh, record view document view. And so that's an overview of the ProQuest Psych Articles LibGuide and some of the features and information available on it.